Hello, this is Michael Tracy, and generally I discuss who the first two people to reach the summit of Mount Everest were, but this video is about who the third person was. I was unaware there was a controversy about this until I attended a recent lecture by Wade Davis, the author of Into the Silence. I really enjoyed Wade Davis's lecture, as he is both extremely knowledgeable and passionate about the subject. He did repeat his strong criticism of the 1999 search team and even provided some additional details. A link to his previous account of the handling of George Mallory's body and a copy of this current presentation may be available shortly, but the additional details do not add significantly to what is already known about the mishandling of the search. He also did a book signing, and he's a very personable person, and they did sell out of the, the books to be signed. Fortunately, I had brought my own copy. He is doing another presentation on June 25th, 2022 at the Bowers Museum in Southern California. At the book signing, I was able to speak with him briefly, and while I told him I liked his book very much, in the lecture he made two mistakes. He repeated the issue with the cooker rolling down from Camp 6, when in fact it rolled down from Camp 5, and he also stated that neither Hillary nor Tenzing ever stated which one was first on the summit. However, Tenzing stated in his autobiography that Hillary went shortly before him. Davis responded that while Tenzing may have written that in his autobiography, that does not mean that it is true. Holy crap, did I just get rashomon by Wade Davis? One thing that separates good historians from poor historians is knowing that not every source is reliable. Frequently in this channel, people engage in history by quotation, stringing together a series of quotes to prove whatever theory they are advocating without looking at why the person might be saying it or whether it is contradicted by other evidence. In an upcoming video, I will discuss this in more detail, and it is commonly referred to as the Rashomon effect. Now, I did not have a copy of Tiger of the Snow, Tenzing's autobiography, with me, but a brief look at Wikipedia says that Tenzing wrote in his autobiography that Hillary was first. Actually, Tenzing could not write English, so he told it to James Ramsey Ullman, who assisted in writing the book. One item of note is that Tenzing also stated he collected rock samples from the summit area, just as Liesel Clark, a member of the 1999 search expedition, thought Mallory might have done. And here, I will note the significant difference between Tenzing Norgay's Wikipedia page and that of George Mallory, or any other entry connected with the 1924 climb. Tenzing's page is well-written and, most importantly, well-documented. For instance, there are five citations just in the first paragraph on Tenzing's page, compared to just one for the first four paragraphs in the introduction for Mallory. The single citation on Mallory's page is to Wade Davis is into the silence for the dates of Mallory's birth and death, facts that do not appear on the page listed in the citation. The pages are roughly the same popularity, and one of the most useful things about Wikipedia is that it is fairly easy to spot where there is an active misinformation campaign. For instance, in the two and a half ice axes, noted that it was not certain who the ice axe belongs to. However, Wikipedia knows exactly whose it is because it is known that Mallory's was picked up by a Chinese climber. There is no citation for this apparently universally known fact, and a brief check of the single citation for that entire paragraph shows that it does not mention either Wang or, nor the ice axe. Wikipedia also knows the exact time they left in the morning on June 8th, but unfortunately does not tell us what time it was nor provide a source, just that it is known. Getting back to Tenzing Norgay's account, I want to read what Tenzing said about it, and that should clear it up, whether or not the account provided in his autobiography is true or not. As a note, when Hillary and Tenzing returned from the mountain, both said they reached the summit together, which set up the so-called controversy. I've thought much about what I will say now, of how Hillary and I reached the summit of Everest. Later, when we came down from the mountain, there was much foolish talk about who got there first. Some said that only one of us got there, or neither. Still others that one of us had dragged the other up. All this is nonsense. And all over the world I'm asked, who got there first? Who got there first? Again I say, it is a foolish question. The answer means nothing. And it is a question that has been asked so often, that has caused so much talk and doubt and misunderstanding that I feel, after long thought, that the answer should be given. As will be clear, it is not for my own sake that I give it, nor is it for Hillary's. It is for the sake of Everest, the prestige of Everest, and for the generations who will come after us. Why, they will say, should there be a mystery to this thing? Is there something to be ashamed of? To be hidden? Why can we not know the truth? Very well. Now they will know the truth. Everest is too great, too precious, for anything but the truth. He goes on to say that Hillary was indeed the first to step on the summit, and there's not much more that needs to be said.